This is just a quick video I thought I'd post to show this. It's a Unitech Dual Pulse 125. I'm not repairing it, this is a piece of uh, my lab equipment. And uh, I bought this quite a few years ago now for some prototype work uh, I was doing at the time. I was designing a, a system and I needed to design some uh, custom battery packs. And um, as you probably guess, this is, uh, they describe it as a stored energy power supply. But as you probably guessed, it's actually a, a kind of spot welder. And uh, what's different about this type of spot welding from other types of spot welding is that the two contacts are on the same side of the material. So normally with spot welding, you'll put a contact on either side of a joint, pass a high current pulse through that joint, and it momentarily um, melts and fuses the um, the, the metal between the two uh, contacts. Uh, as I said, this is different. In this uh, case, both contacts are on the same side of the material and um, it makes it far more suitable for certain types of uh, fabrication and repair. Now, I was using it today to carry out some repairs and I thought I'd uh, just demonstrate it for anyone that might be interested. This is an interesting uh, piece of equipment. Uh, they are quite expensive, I'm not suggesting you go out and buy one, I think they cost something like three or four thousand uh, pounds, that's for the base unit, uh, any fixtures, a fixture like this is going to cost you maybe fifteen hundred, two thousand pounds, um, but you can make your own fixtures, uh, but um, I have a whole range, some I've made, some I've purchased. Uh, you can use it as a standard spot welder, or you can use it in its uh, single sided mode, which is what I'm going to demonstrate here. So. Um, when you switch it on, you have um, the ability to uh, program it and normally you'll program it to provide two pulses rather than just one. The first pulse is to prepare and clean the joint. The second pulse is to carry out the actual uh, spot weld. And you can program the uh, duration and peak current of both pulses. Uh, this unit can supply a peak current of up to 7000 amps and uh, so you can spot weld some fairly thick pieces of material but normally I use it for a very thin material and carrying out uh, fairly detailed repairs on uh, small items. So if I want to uh, re-weld a contact or something like that then I can use this and it is uh, quite useful for doing that. So when we turn it on, as I say we can um, store various programs and we can select the two pulses, select the peak energy and the duration of the pulse. We can save that as a program and then uh, obviously we can recall that program as and when we want to. So I'll move the camera across so we can zoom into the fixture and I'll just demonstrate uh, welding a tab onto something like a coin cell. So this fixture just allows us to apply pressure to a joint and uh, what we do if we want to put a tab onto a coin cell is we adjust the height. So the important uh, parameters here are the two uh, pulse currents and durations and also the pressure that we apply. The pressure we apply is actually quite important. Uh, we then take the material we want to weld and as you can see there is nothing on this. This is an insulating uh, base so there is no current coming up through the coin cell that would obviously destroy the cell and that's why we need to have uh, both contacts on the same side. I've got a foot switch on this unit, so if I press the foot switch while putting sort of gentle pressure onto the uh, two contacts, it will, in theory, weld the strip of metal to the coin cell. So I'll press the pedal. And as you can see, this is now well and truly welded on. So if you try and pull this off it will actually leave the little tabs um, where we welded on the coin cell and uh, you can see it makes an extremely nice joint. Uh, if we want to we can also use it to join two pieces of metal so if we've got uh, a join we want to repair or if we're trying to fabricate something then what we can do is put a, a slightly higher base or we can adjust this further down. So what we would do we can also use it to join metal, so if we're trying to carry out a repair or we're trying to fabricate something using uh, small strips of metal or small components, we can use this and it's quite
quite convenient if we don't have access to the uh, underside of the components. So if it's something, for example, like a sealed box and we're trying to spot weld uh, a tab onto it, we can do that from just the one side. If we want to join two pieces of thin metal, um, what I normally do is put a, f a slightly flexible base on and this just allows the metal to take up the uh, a shape that's going to give good pressure onto both contacts. If you try and put it on something that's too hard, um, quite often you'll find there's more pressure on one contact than the other and you won't get a very good joint. If I now press the foot pedal, we now have the metal well and truly joined. Uh, I'd normally put uh, more than one uh, set of joints on, so um, you might want to do this sort of two or three times to give a nice strong joint. Uh, but hopefully you can see that it's giving a very good uh, join that's um, very clear where it's welded and the join is stronger than the um, material we're joining so if you try and tear this apart uh, what you'll end up with is a little um, nibs of metal where we welded it so it's a very good quick convenient way of carrying out repairs like this as I say you can use it for items where you can't get onto the underside or the inside it is expensive, but uh, when you've got certain repairs to do, it's invaluable. So, uh, as I said, I thought uh, you might find this interesting. It's an interesting piece of equipment. Not something that most people are going to want or, or, uh, or have, but uh, as I said, I thought you might find it interesting to take a quick look at it.